going to do? Uh, deadlifts today. Go up to, I think it's five fives at 170 today. Oof. So, pretty, uh, pretty light. <laughs> Getting the rep work back. That's the stuff I like. So, we'll see how it goes. How's the uh, training been going for you? All good? Yeah, going really well. Um, I had a week off before Christmas, had the flu there, so back at it now. Uh, training's going in kind of full swing now. Uh, Enjoying it? Yeah, we're loving it. That's feel good? Yeah, yeah, pretty easy. It was relatively light. Um, that's a start to a new block, so just like Tom and Luke are saying, you just got to build up slowly and it increase the weight every week. Um, just keep things ticking over until they're proper heavyweight. So exciting times. You've seen Harry train from the start to where he is now. What would you say his biggest improvements have been in? I think the consistency of, of Harry's training, I think that's very important to, to note. Um, so when Harry initially started, um, it was probably a bit more sporadic. He didn't really have a, a training plan as such. But obviously, you know, working with, da with Dan and training more with Tom and I, I think it gives him that consistency and he's a lot more accountable in what he does, which I think is, you know, really important. You know, the strength aspect, that will come. It's just... Um, learning the kind of basics and Harry's still learning the basics you know the strength has come up the strength is growing and you know I'm really excited to see where he can take it um, but yeah I think just the consistency and the 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 output that Harry's putting into the gym has uh, increased significantly. What would you say his strongest event is at the moment? Like technically wise he's very good at dumbbell a dumbbell press when he's pressing a dumbbell he's, he looks very snappy his stones are really good which is Probably no surprise, being Tom's younger brother. Harry's got a really good grip. You know, we've seen what the Hercules holds, the frame carry he's doing. So, like, that type of stuff is really good. Dumbbell grip and, yeah, stones. I think that's three of his best events. And on the opposite side, what would you say is the thing that is lacking compared mm -hmm. to his other lifts? I think the, you know, the static strength stuff, you know, the, so like, log press, deadlift, squat, you know, that type of stuff. And it's not a, a bad thing, it's just needs more progress. You know, Harry picked up like dumbbell press, uh, moving events, the grip, the stones really naturally. But with, with the static stuff, you'd really need to work 
day in, day out to improve, to get, you know, a few kilos in a year, you know, that's what sometimes, that's all you're going to get sometimes, so um, I think that's probably the, the stuff that needs work, his log um, it's coming, you know, it's it's nice to see he's following some cues that we're saying, so um, that type of thing will come, but it's it's just it's a technique thing, but then it's a static thing as well, so it's trying to, um, you know, coach and maybe guide Harry in a way that um, allows him to be as strong as possible while still learning that technique, because, you know, there's, there's little things that you can always do to improve your lifts. It doesn't just have to be the physical, it can be, you know, the sleep, the diet, the nutrition, all this type of stuff. So um, there's a lot more to come from Harry um, and there's a lot more for Harry to to do to, to kind of push on in his career. And, you know, I think we're just at the start of it now. We're just at the, the very lowest part of Harry's career and the, the career that he's going to have is just going to carry on going up and up and up if that's what he wants. Going on to uh, Romanian deadlifts, RDLs. Um, I've got three sets of eight at whatever weight. But I might drop the reps down and just do the uh, same, same weight as Luke, just saves taking the plates on and off. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. What's the purpose of the Romanian and how do you do it? So Romanians, if done proper, should really help your deadlift. So looking for some glute activation, lower back activation and some hamstrings as well. So in Harry's first set, just get him to pause slightly. So you can have tension your lower back, you can have glutes as you're going down, contracting your lats, have a little split second pause. That's what it gets you in your deadlift position. So, in theory, you should generate a lot of power off the floor and it'll cross over onto your deadlift. Um, and that's basically it, They're a good one. Um, it just helps you generate power, take care, take care of your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, which is also very important. Looking after all your associated muscles is hugely important in strongman. There's no point being able to pull 400 plus deadlift when your hamstrings are weak, your glutes are weak, are weak and your lower back. So, if you want some more tips on how to become the best version of whatever your strength and fitness goal is, please check out www.stumpandstrengthacademy.com Excuse the voice, I've got a brace on. <coughs> Why are you even here? Just go home. It's just a waste of space. Right. Oh, see that? He thinks he's big man. <laughs> this is the bit YouTube doesn't see <laughs> when it doesn't go Tom's way. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that bad. I'm cool, cool, calm, and collective. I just <laughs> motivated isn't the word to describe it right now. I am. <laughs> I've got a smile. Usually, usually you would have just left. <laughs> but I'm more motivated. I'm not going to put the weights away. I'm the world's strongest man, I do what I want. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Jesus.
Ready? Ready now. No cheating. <laughs> King of the grip, Harry. My arms are, my forearms are burst. <laughs> Did uh, no no straps on the deadlift. The Romanians, yeah, and then now the grip stuff. Oh, so what else you been doing with that forearm? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yep. Oh. Might actually grip this little slide. On the lines, the nerves are in. Start with this gear. There's still time to move. Come on, Har. You got it. Keep it up there. Come on. Stay up. Come on. You're close. Come on, hold it. Oh, Come on. Hold it. Come on. Five, four, Come on, three, two, one. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> There's Tommy. <laughs> what? It's the boogie man. Ah! <laughs> They don't do anything. How did that session go, boy? I've got ab cramp, don't. Oh, don't ask me. Don't ask me right now. I think there's lines where you can send up it. Do you have any messages to Harry? That's all. My message to Harry is to, to do whatever it is you want to do. Um, I know. Yeah, know that like Tom and I are just here for you for the better, the the bad times, the good times, every time. You know, we're here, big brothers. We're here to lay that path, whatever that path is that you need laid. We're there to support you, to hopefully guide you, um, and it'll look after you. You know, that's that's what my role is. I think. Um, and we're very, very proud of uh, the, the the person you are today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was uh, episode two of uh, becoming a strong man. Um, we really enjoyed it. We had a great session. Uh, big sweaty messes that we are just Indeed. now. Um, <laughs> this guy. He, yeah, he enjoyed it as well. He always enjoys it. So tune in, tune in for episode three. Comment below if you want to see anything else. Yeah, just do what Harry says and as always please stay safe, smile and stay spicy and please don't forget to ring that little bell. Uh. Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the log press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 